Hi, I'm just putting together all of my signs for polling day. Hawkesbury Council is going to face unprecedented challenges in this coming term, and I need your help to fix it. Over the last three years, under two Liberal mayors, Council's debt has ballooned from $16.3 million to over $62.5 million, one of a raft of metrics that have slid, plus an even larger list of issues and projects that have been delayed or mishandled. So much for the major parties' traditional claim about being good economic managers. And worse, our infrastructure backlog, a measure of how behind we are on the maintenance of roads, parks and other facilities, has risen from 2.1% to over 9.3% in just two years. The condition of our roads is consistently the number one thing that people raise with me. You need to know that without different leadership, there's going to be a $162 million hole in the maintenance of these assets by 2033. If we're going to turn this around, we need to drastically change the way in which councillors collaborate, because this term has failed ratepayers, our heritage and the environment alike. Now, like any workplace, Politics presents a spectrum of relationships. I've been blessed with some wonderful professional friendships and mentors in my time, where we bring out the best in each other. A successful chamber is one where voters send 12 citizens of diverse skills, life experiences, and professional pursuits and temperaments to work together respectfully and to talk through thorny issues. Good leaders can make that flourish and toxic leadership kills it dead. So it might surprise you to see me spending this, my final message to you at the cusp of the election, praising others, because I want to implore you to think about the power of your vote. We can elect a collegial and competent team for the next four years. It's been my observation that Councillor Shane Jurek from the Shooters, Fishers and Farmers Party has distinguished himself in his first term on council to be a thoughtful and passionate representative. Councillor Mary Lyons Bucket has a wealth of experience in local government and is very sensible and collaborative in her approach. Council Danielle Wheeler from the Greens is, in my estimation, usually the smartest person in the room and the degree of preparation and factual knowledge that she brings to each debate proves her to be a huge asset to council. Councillor Liz Sheva has earned my respect over a quarter century of friendship simply because of his heart to serve our community. He's seemingly involved in everything and has a huge institutional memory and fundamental decency, and he's exhibited that through decades of public service. And lastly, newcomer Angela Maguire strikes me as just the kind of entrepreneurial go-getter that we need to freshen up the chamber. These people deserve to be elected. Now, don't misunderstand me. I don't agree with these people on every issue. Some of these people are on the left and some on the right, and it shouldn't matter. It's our diversity that can be our strength. We can disagree without becoming disagreeable. But more importantly, this is a question of good humour and temperament. And so I return to what you can do to help. We can all think of politicians that seem incapable of saying anything nice about people that they disagree with. And if you've got somebody like that in mind, please do your council a favour and don't elect them to the next chamber. Please start conversations with people that you know and tell them to consider their vote too. Whether you vote above or below the line, number as many squares as you can. We'll all be better off. Pre-poll has already commenced in Windsor and Richmond. I'll be there in one of those two locations together with my team for the whole week. We're looking forward to meeting you either then or on polling day. Thanks for listening.